God speaks in so many different languages. One of the most fascinating languages that God speaks to me specifically is color, the language of color. I've been fascinated with color ever since I was a little girl. My wardrobe is colorful, my hair is colorful, and most of all, I love the different colors of worship flags. When I finally found and discovered worship flags and the prophetic meanings that they impart or declare and release, it was as if God has given me a gift an ability to speak a language that perhaps was secret to some, but not to him. The world is full of color and God loves to give us meaning. Everything he does is filled with communication to us about himself. And when we step into the world of color, we are entering into something that I think really touches the divine or the heavenly aspect of God's character. If you love color, you don't have to be an artist or creative to love color, although I think that God, because he's a creator and we're made in his image, we're all creative in some way. But in the way of color, the things you gravitate towards probably says a lot about maybe how you interact with God. God probably speaks through your favorite color. Whatever the color is that you gravitate towards, there's an aspect of his character that is released through that color. In worship flags, we design all of our worship flags through colors, single colors, and combination of colors. Because I think the combination of multiple colors is a full statement, like a sentence. Whatever language that you speak, we speak in words, statements, and sentences to communicate and convey a complete idea and that is really what the color combinations of our worship flags that catch the fire worship flags one of the most popular worship flags is our single layer white shimmer worship flags they're popular for a lot of different reasons white is probably the most versatile but white when it comes down to the prophetic meanings it means purity this generation their purity has been stolen and when we use a white flag it releases the purity of God, the pureness that light is pure white. It is the foundation of everything that God is. He is pure, he is untainted, and he is unstained, and that he is unchanging. There's no shadow in white. White also indicates the presence and releases Holy Spirit. It, it symbolizes Holy Spirit as a white light. It's the foundation of everything, just like the testimony of the Holy Spirit. Just like everything that the Holy Spirit does testifies to Jesus, white is our foundation and it is the testimony of the goodness of God. It is the bride of Christ. It symbolizes the bride of Christ. You, worship her, are the bride of Christ. That's why brides wear white. It releases the purity of who you've been made in God. It doesn't matter what your past is. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter who you've been. But when God gets a hold of your life, when you surrender your life to God, you are called the bride of Christ and you wear white not because of any misdeeds in your past but because you have been made clean you've been made pure and you have a new life other prophetic meanings include the whitest snow he calls us white as snow that his blood it's an interesting paradox that the blood of Jesus makes us white as snow how can something so powerful color as red be made white as snow beautiful clean pure untouched full of possibility when you pick up your white worship flags you are releasing this promise to those that are still perishing in their life in their decisions that are bound by the sin in their life you are actually declaring to them and releasing hope and saying when you are in Christ he sees you as white as snow he makes you clean your past he says is forgotten and he sees you as perfect like Christ another prophetic meaning of white is anointing so we talk about anointing it's one of those Christianese words and whether you've been a Christian for a long time or you've just become a Jesus follower we may not even understand the full meaning of the word anointing. It's about being set apart and prepared for a divine task. 
that there is the we have the anointing of the Holy Spirit who sets us apart and all of the white meanings come into play. It makes you the bride of Christ. Again, it also is that you become an overcomer. White light, pure white overcomes every other color. Every other color is absorbed into white. And when you mix all of the colors, the pure colors, the heavenly colors, when you mix all of them together, you get white. The result is white as an overcomer that nothing, nothing stands between you and Jesus, you and the Father, that you are righteous before him, that you are an overcomer of the sin, not because of anything you've done, but again, because of what Jesus has done and we get to worship him. It is a declaration of hope and joy and purity as we lift up white worship flags. Finally, another meaning of white is one of his names, the Ancient of Days. In Daniel 7, the Ancient of Days steps in. To be honest, this is one of my favorite names of God. I love the Ancient of Days because it, it gives me hope on my worst days and I feel like I can't do anything right. I can't make a good choice to save my life, which I can't save my life. But when the Ancient of Days steps in, he always judges in favor of the saints. And I think that's why it's my favorite name of God, that no matter what I've done and however the enemy has tormented me, and maybe I have lost that battle, I will not lose the war because the Lord, the Ancient of Days, steps in and judges in favor of the saints. White shimmer worship flags flow so beautifully. There's such an innocence. Along with purity, I think that there's an innocence in the dance and in the release of them. The ability to worship God and release a word of the Lord through our worship flags is perhaps the greatest joy as a worshiper that I get to enjoy. But I love the fact that we have a community of other worshipers who have grasped this great secret language of color. Color is a language. And so what are you saying with worship flags?